when a morning starts off as gorgeous as this, and you've missed getting out to a sunrise location, how can the day go anywhere but up? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. We're going to find out. But what a gorgeous sunrise I watched as I ate my breakfast and decided on heading up to the woods in northwest Missouri. We're going back to that oak grove once again. So we're back at a wooded location that we were at a few weeks ago. It's one of the oldest remaining old growth oak groves in the state of Missouri. It's a little bit of a drive from home, but um, there are storms off to the west that may affect us this afternoon. So I figured I'd get out this morning and drive up here and see what the side light looks like just after sunrise. So. First composition that I found is this really cool fallen tree with a bunch of uh, fungus growing on it. So I zoomed in pretty tight and I did a bracket exposure here um, with the, the main shot is at a s about 1.6 of a second and an aperture of f6.3, okay? So the composition here, I'll show you the comp. So here's the composition as I got it on, I have it on the back of the camera. We're fo mainly focused in on the fungus here in the front and uh, this one branch. What was really cool is I was setting up and I believe I got it in the image. This tree branch back here, which is mm, a good, 10 feet away from the main composition, had some side light coming on to it. It's actually starting to cloud up, so I'm getting kind of worried that I may not get too much while I'm here. So I'm gonna get moving here and uh, see what else we can see.
that's that composition. I'm gonna crack it back down because it's kind of a bare back in here to carry too much out. So. There's rain off to the west. I'm here in thunder now. And uh, I get migraines with weather. And I can tell that there's something moving towards me. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely thunder. Great. Well, we got one composition in the bag. We're going to keep hiking and see if I can get something else. It's fairly thick back here. So, Unless it's a torrential downpour, I should be fine. The other caveat is I've got a rain jacket in the back, so I always come prepared, right? Unfortunately, I use my rain slicks and uh, didn't uh, pack them again. I do have the rain jacket, luckily. So, uh, cool thing about this place, other than all the spider webs that you keep going through, is there's a shortcut trail that goes that way. And then there's the main trail that goes this way, straight behind me. So we're gonna try to do both. But uh, when I find the next composition, I'm definitely going to check my radar because I can hear thunder. And I know we're not near an airport, so. Well, now I'm hearing heavy raindrops coming through and the canopy and the thunder's getting closer. My head's getting bugged a little bit more. So, and the light has just gone to total, total crap. It's not there anymore. There's no light. So that thunderhead's getting really close blocking out my light, threatening me with rain. Still isn't raining heavy enough to get the rain jacket out yet, but it sure is hampering my ability along with the spider webs and the spiders to uh, find the, another composition that I like back here today. So, I think this is just going to turn into a walk back to the truck on the loop. See if I can wait out that weather that's coming in once it gets here in the truck, which is grounded because there's a lot of, a lot of lightning associated with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully this isn't the end of today. Hopefully this is just a pause because I'd like to get more than one photo for driving this far, but I did get the one that I really wanted. So I was happy that that was there. I like the composition I got. Now it's just a question of, am I gonna stay dry from the rain or am I gonna get wet? from putting on a rain jacket in 100% humidity and about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew! Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's what I am. Yep.
the thunder rolls. So walking the loop. I'm trying to get through the loop, and uh, since the last time I was here, some tree branches have definitely come down. I may have to double back. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what I got to do here. Now we're on the Osmo, or we're off the Osmo pocket. It's not uh, <clears throat> really rated for rain, if you know what I mean. So we're on a GoPro now, and uh, it's getting darker. And that was quite the passing that I had to make back there. It was not impassable by any means, but it was doable. And I've seen a couple more compositions, so I guess I'm coming back. Or what I might do is get back to the truck and uh, at least that way I'm shielded from the lightning because I really don't want to drive in it anyway. I'll get back to the truck, watch the storm, see what it's going to do, make up my mind if I'm going to hang here and then come back in and try to photograph again. Unfortunately, the clouds are moving off to the east more so and they're thicker so there may not be any light even then, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, at least I'm getting a good walk in and I'm out in nature. Whew. Huh. So much for making it back to the truck with at it, having to put the rain jacket on. It's uh, properly chucking it down right now. It's still kind of gorgeous, and uh, this jacket made it through the northwest dry, but I don't know about a Missouri summer pop-up thunderstorm. Those can be pretty nasty, actually. And uh, this path kind of doubles as a runoff in a lot of places. So now it's getting a little treacherous. <sighs> so now it is just about getting back to the truck. Sitting by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, soaking wet. I think I am going to call it a day. Go home, get a warm shower, get some second breakfast, and uh, chill out to some YouTube, probably. So, uh, yeah, I changed in the truck a little bit. Shoes were totally soaked. Socks were totally soaked. And uh, I'm not going to drive home again with soaked feet. Whew. So, like I said, we're going to head on back, get a warm shower, get some second breakfast, chill out some, to some YouTube. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road next time.